Now you're recording again. Yeah, when you touch the button back there, it changes what's going on. Okay. That was a cut. <laughs> that was a cut. <laughs> okay, so now we got back to the uh, the handlebar up just a little bit. Then we got to loosen this up. Pull the wire back slightly. Pull the wire back. We'll hold on to the wire with this. Slide it forward, which it's not doing. Is it not sliding down? Well, I might have, there it goes. Just, oh. That's why it was all that clip was jammed in. That might have been uh, me doing that. I had this bound up against your push rod, and that's probably why it wasn't working before. Oh, okay. I don't know if I moved it or not, but... Okay, now I'm going to make sure the wire is up out of the way. Yeah. Turn. Fully advanced. It's right there. Did it get you stopped this time? No. No? Where is it? I don't know how it's pulling on it. It's up against it. I can't work the bar. See if the pin is pulling it forward when I pull on the handlebar. Put tension on it. Yeah. Pin's moving forward right there. Uh huh. It's moving. No, it's not moving. Well, you say uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, means yes. No, it's not moving. No, 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 it means no. So it didn't go back and forth like that. So that means it got it had no tension on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it a little bit. This time I'm going to mark it so I know what the hell's going on. Jar. Oop, it moves now. It gets to stop. Yeah. yeah. Okay, right there. Does, does it move now when I do this? Yeah, it moves a little bit. Now I got tension on it. So when you pull the lever back there now, it's, it pulls this even tighter against the stop here. Okay. So it's fully advanced in a good hard location. Okay. And that's important with these knuckleheads, huh? Well, with anything, you want to make sure you got fully advanced, it's not right. floating around. Yeah. How far back does it go? And you have full adjustment here, so you went all the way full retard. Yeah, went full retard. So you have plenty of travel in your system. Because I can feel this is all slop up here. If you look up here at the bar. Yeah. Not you, the camera. So you come back here, and then you put... Oh. See, this is all slop. This is tension right there. See, that's tension. Okay. That's pulling against the stop. When you see this thing kind of flexing a little bit, that's me up there yanking on it. Okay. So now when it's fully advanced, now you can go ahead and check your timing. Now right now we don't know where the timing's at. All I know is the point is not open right now. I don't know how much past it is. Okay, let's see if your light works here. Headlight's on. You got ignition in the first spot? Yeah. Well, first problem is we have no ignition. You got no ignition? Not that I can tell. Is your light's not on? I don't see any glowing action going on here. It appears to have a lack of glowing. So that means we have no juice. So, why do we have no juice? So now we gotta investigate the other side of the light. Figure out why we got no juice. So now we go over here. Of course, you get your coil bearing, we can't get to it. You want me to take it off? Not right this minute. 
Okay, so we're going to ground this here out. It won't stay there. That good ground out. This ought to be a good ground. Okay, where's your battery at? Appears we have juice. Okay, so we have juice to our coil. That's the coil are. Okay. Definitely lit up. Let's go back on the other side. Now that wire is supposed to go down to the here. Yeah. So we should have juice down here. And something to connect to around here. There we go. Double check this to make sure I got a good ground. Yep, it lit up. See, so no juice there. Yeah. Mm. No juicy. See, no juice, no juice. It can be anyway, it's ground. That's your hot wire way over there. So we have no power. What the hell? I checked it. I thought for sure I had power. Yeah. You might have power over there, but you ain't got it over here. Okay. So now we got kind of an idea where we're at. Power wise, we have a lack of it. Okay, so now we're gonna have to take this hat off to see what's going on. Now the problem with that is most likely I gotta pull this up to get this out. Yeah. So I gotta pull these out. Are these threads good or bad? They're good but they're metric. They're ten millimeter. Why I don't know. Is that okay? Because somebody asked me, where were we jammed into the stock ones? I don't know. Pretty tight, Dan. I got real loose, huh? It was loose. <laughs> There's a new brake over here, huh? Yeah, I got the piece at home. Doesn't matter, you can't weld it back on. You can't? Nope. You can't JB weld it back on? You can JB weld it, but it ain't gonna make no difference. Loosen that up. That's a ground wire for the for the for the generator. What is a ground wire? What is a generator in the ground? Well, no, it's for the uh, the voltage regulator that's hooked onto it. Sounds good. Yeah. Alright, more screws. One clip. All right, so you have a red wire. So you won't get any power through the coil, evidently. See that under there? Oh, it's fucking loose on the goose. God, I never even checked that. That's why there ain't no power, huh? You should have a loop going around in here because right now, every time you advance retard this distributor, this bolt's trying to loosen up. Hmm. You have a whole coil in here. Oh, I didn't know that. You need an extra wire, you think? I don't know. Probably not much. Looks like none. Every time this goes back and forth, it's going to want to come loose. Mm 
Doesn't look like you have a lock washer on there. Yeah, these gotta make a loop that goes around the distributor. So you have a whole circle for the wire to go back and forth, that half inch you're moving this. Oh, okay. Right now you only got this much area here that the wire goes back and forth. It's pretty much pushing straight. So it has to bend or come loose every time you do anything. Which will cause the wire to come loose or break. Just like it did. Well, I don't know if it's loose or not. And it's not loose. You just didn't tighten it down. That's the old uh, nuts tight, parts loose trick. Mm -hmm. Just because your nuts tight doesn't mean your parts tight. Yeah. So the nuts bottomed out. Oh, it is? Well, the nut was tight, but the part's loose. Okay, so you need a washer. You need to get a washer underneath there because your nut does not go all the way down. So we're going to get you a lock washer. Go in there. Here, I got room for half of one. Come on, nut. Start. Don't be difficult. Get on there. There it goes. Well, I have about as much view as you got. Yeah. See where I'm looking from? Yeah. Well, I'll get a camera. See where I'm looking at, Dan? See, I'm looking at Dan as I'm screwing my nut because I'm looking through this. Okay. I can't see a damn thing under there. Looking blind again. Okay, so when this goes in here, you want to have that pointing like it is. See how the wire tightened up a little bit there? Okay, now the nut's tight. And see the part's tight. That's not moving. Yeah. Okay. So we know that's in there correctly now. Now to get these back in there is a little interesting at times. Yeah, I've done that about a hundred times taking that fucker in and out. You like doing that? Shh. Where's the wire hole at? Your wire hole's over there. So I don't want to put the clip right there where the wire is, so I put it in from this direction. <clears throat> okay, now you can either go through this hole or that hole over there. But you got to go through this hole because it'll hit otherwise. Well, I was going to do that anyway because I didn't want to be over there. Yeah. So, I have to deal with all this other crap in the way. So, let me get my flashlight. in the hole over here. <clears throat> okay, so I put the clip through the hole on the other side. There's two holes over there also, so you gotta make sure you go through the correct one, the one yeah. 180 across. Okay, then I'm gonna try to put this band strap up in there. <clears throat> and I'm gonna try to rotate this so it pops in this groove. So I'll put it in here and then I'll rotate a little bit. Used to attempt to do it that way. tension you get on that wire? Not much? No, not much. Get 
push a clip up, see how it pops in. Yep. Okay, stay in foot. Put this all back together. Hey, Marco. Hope you're not in a hurry. Huh? Hope you're not in a hurry. It's not. We're playing with a real motorcycle, not that thing you're working on. Come on, man. Supposed to be underneath? I don't know. I think it was. This is stripped in, that's why it doesn't tighten up. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Alright. Eventually this will fall off. Alright, so now we gotta figure out why we got no juice. Wanna try and check it again? Probably still won't have any juice. Mm. You'll get no juice when that falls off either. Yeah, no, that's grounded. Yeah. Because we got no power from coil. Does that mean the coil shot? You my guess. We got power on that side of the coil. Yeah, no power on this side of the coil, sir. Okay. The light's not on over here. So the coil's no good. So we're not getting any power through the coil. So that's your coil's got an open circuit in there. So it's no good. It'll junk out. Junk. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, you can pull this off, and we'll come back when it gets swapped around. Okay.